Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, yeah? Uh, I look absolutely crazy, it looks absolutely atrocious. What's good everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, it's your girl Miss Sis and I'm back with another video. Right, so I'm looking a little bit cray cray because my, my OG head scarf is in the washing machine guys. Okay, so I have to use some tights to lay down the lace. <laughs> However, today's video, we are going to do a comparison. As you can see by the title, we are going to compare the Huda Beauty Tantor versus the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. If you're new to my channel, I do post three times a week with a mixture of lifestyle vlogs and makeup content. I like to do first impressions, reviews, and comparisons. So if you're about that life, make sure you do subscribe, put your post notifications on, and let's get right into the review. Now, I've actually done separate reviews um, with these products so I'll leave the links in the description box below and to be honest this has literally been one of my favorite cream contours since I've had this in my collection however I did get a few requests to do like a comparison versus the two so uh, so we're gonna do that today so the cream bronzer is one of their latest launches from Fenty Beauty it retails for 28 pounds and it comes in seven shades this is basically a bronzer so it's meant to be a sheer buildable bronzer for all skin types and skin tones to bronze up your face and give you that natural glow I actually bought two of the darkest shades which is chocolate and toffee teas toffee teas was a little bit too dark for me to bronze for the Huda Beauty this retails for 26 pounds it comes in five shades so you've got fair light medium and then tan and then rich i've got rich which is also the darkest shade in the collection so this is obviously a double up of a bronzer and a contour in one hence tantor so it's a cream to powder formula packed with pigment blendable gives you a glow but yet a dramatic definition to your cheekbones and so on and so forth so the huda beauty has 11 grams of product where the fenty beauty has 6.23 Fenty Beauty actually has 6.23 grams of product. So the Huda Beauty comes in a compact, slim form like so with a twisted lid. And that is the shade Rich. And then the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer comes in like the same sort of gold bronzer compact with a mirror. And this is the shade Toffee Tease. Okay, so this is a close up. Please excuse the damage <laughs> with this one here. But you can probably see there is a similarity with the shades whilst it's in the pan. But I'm obviously going to do some swatches for you guys now. So this is the Huda Beauty one. It does feel really creamy and thicker. And then with the Fenty Beauty one, it doesn't feel as thick. But it's definitely on the creamy side. And that's what it looks like. This one here is the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Rich. And this one is the cream bronzer from Fenty Beauty in the shade Chocolate Teas. But the Huda Beauty one has more of a deeper purple hue, like a greyish purple hue. In comparison to the Fenty Toffee Teas, it's a little bit on the warmer side. So I am going to apply the Huda Beauty on this side of my face and I'm gonna apply the Fenty Beauty on this side of my face. I personally like to apply them on my face either with my finger or brush and then blend out with a beauty blender. I'm gonna warm it up first with my finger. Then I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty one. Okay, so that's the Huda Beauty and that's the Fenty Beauty one. So immediately um, applying both of these products, this one actually feels and looks more pigmented in comparison to that one, which is understandable because this one does claim to be more pigmented where the Fenty one is more on a sheer buildable side. I'm going to blend it out with a brush first. So I'm gonna use this brush to blend out my Huda Beauty. Then I'm going to go in with a different brush and blend up my Fenty Beauty. So that's the Fenty and that's the Huda Beauty. I look absolutely crazy. It looks 
absolutely atrocious, but trust and believe the process. But I feel like after mastering the Fenty Beauty one, or how to apply it, I feel like with the finger and then a the brush first, you get a bit more payoff. Where obviously the Huda Beauty one, if I use the other brush, is a lot more pigmented. So I am applying more than usual because I want you guys to be able to see it as obviously filming things on camera is not always a true reflection in the naked eye. But um, yeah, so that's what the product looks like. So now I'm gonna go over it with my damp milk sponge. Then switching the other side of the sponge. Then I'm just gonna go in with my foundation brush just to Make it a bit more seamless and marry all the products together. Listen, my hair is an absolute mess. Okay, so that is the Huda Beauty side and that is the Fenty side. Now, I would definitely say off the back, the Fenty side has more of a glow. And obviously, once I blend it out with the sponge and the brush, it's lost some of its um, pigmentation. So it's become a bit more seamless and melted into my skin. With the Huda Beauty one, you can definitely see more of a definition and that shadow. Um, I wouldn't say it's completely matte. I would say it's more of a demi-matte. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see, well, hopefully you guys can see a difference between the two sides. This is when I typically tend to bronze for today. <laughs> you know what I'm about to say. I'm gonna use my Revolution. This is the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer in the shade Enroll. I like to use more of a warm reddish undertone bronzer to bronze my face because particularly when I go for more of a cooler tone contour shade, undertone shade, um, I then like to warm up my face with something a bit warmer. So this is the Revolution one, oh sorry guys, this is the Revolution one in the shade Enroll. So I'm just going to use the same brush on each side and to bronze my face. So you can immediately see like it's literally just changed the shade of that contour shade and now I just look a bit more warmer. Oh, I honestly love this bronzer. <laughs> Okay, so that's my face all bronze, and immediately I can tell the bronzer has appeared more pigmented on this side where I applied the Huda Beauty one in comparison to the Fenty. I feel like where the contour from the Huda Beauty is more dense, thicker, and pigmented, the bronzer has pretty much stuck to that base even more in comparison to the Fenty Beauty one. Yes, I'd probably say I will look a bit more glowy and natural and radiant on this side where this is like more structured, defined and just all up in your grills type of thing on this side. So I think to be honest, I like both sides. If I want more of a natural radiant look, this side will be better where this side is obviously more full glam, Instagram, Baddy B out here, you know. Yeah, it literally looks beautiful though. Like once everything is married together, it looks really, really nice. Well, that's what I think anyway, so <laughs> boy. Yeah, so I'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera. Look in different lights and whatever. So yeah. So my darlings, let's get right into the tea. But before we get into the tea, just in case if anyone is curious about what I've got on my lips, I'm actually wearing the Colourpop in collaboration with Ellery and this is one of our ultra matte lipsticks in the shade Sessi and this is a bit dark and vampy but you know what it's gloomy and windy today so I thought why not match my lips to the mood so that is what I got on my lips but whatever is on my face I will leave it in the description box below this is what my face pretty much looks like after applying like, my bronzer um, my lipstick my whatnot whatnot and it's pretty much just looks quite even however you could probably see more of a sheen on this side where with this cream bronzer it is naturally meant to give you that glow illusion from within where with the Huda Beauty one I feel like it's just more pigmented and I feel the texture is a little bit more matte um, unfortunately this is not like a drugstore dupe versus a high-end brands because both of these brands are pretty much on the same level in terms of cost. This is obviously £28 with 6.23 grams worth of product with the Huda Beauty one is £26 for 11 grams. So huge difference in terms of the amount of products 
um, by the cost of two pounds. This is obviously two pounds cheaper in comparison to Fenty. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, yeah. I personally feel like if you are just going to try and just get at least one product out of the two, it's really down to your personal preference. This has got a little bit more of a matte texture, it is definitely more pigmented, it's creamy, it's blendable, I absolutely love it. Where this one has a little bit more warmth, it's not as cool purplish grey in comparison to Huda Beauty, it's sheer, however it's buildable, so if you saw that one application, if I build it up more, it will pretty much be on the same level as Huda Beauty, but this is a little bit more expensive and obviously gives you more of that glow, so it's down to you, what you guys think, how you feel, what you think is going to work for you, me personally, I love both of these products, I actually enjoy using both of them, I just think it really depends on my mood, so those are my personal opinions about these products, but I think overall they are really nice I enjoy using them so it's down to you how you feel about that sis that is pretty much the end of the video guys I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was actually helpful and useful just in case anyone was curious well a few of you guys were curious so you know I got your back but I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a huge thumbs up I really appreciate the ones that thumbs up my videos leave a comment down below let me know what you think is it just a complete miss regardless of what brand it is would you pick one or the other would you pick both you guys let me know make sure you do subscribe if you are new join the Sidas crew and also put on your post notifications on to all also follow me on the Instagram because if I'm not on the YT I'm on the Insta and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye